Hello, my name is Dr. Tracy Newman. I am a pediatrician at Sanford Health in Fargo. I also serve as the city health officer for Fargo Cast Public Health, and I serve on the Fargo Public School Board. Um, well, vaccines are important for a multitude of reasons. You know, from a global perspective, I mean, vaccinations are arguably one of public health's greatest achievements of all time. Maybe second to clean water and sanitation, one of our greatest global achievements of all time, just to help enhance our, our lives and the way we live and how long we live. But from a more of what I do day to day, vaccinations are really a cornerstone of pediatric care, right? I mean, pediatrics and public health is focused on prevention and helping keep keeping people healthy upstream, and that's exactly what vaccines are designed to do. They help prevent disease and prevent um, illness in our children and adults. I think early on in this pandemic, um, there was a certain dialogue around COVID-19 and pediatrics, and we do the best with the data we have available at the time. But initially, the understanding of this virus and the way it has affected kids was maybe it isn't as a threat to children, right? Um, it's children aren't gonna get as sick, children aren't gonna transmit this virus as much. Um, we certainly saw it play out as more of a threat in older and adult populations. However, with the advent of vaccination now, and we're seeing more of our adult population vaccinated, I really believe that there, there's kind of been a shift in what we're seeing, especially with new variants. And so um, I'm not sure that's correct dialogue anymore. So I do think the risk of COVID-19 is very real for, for our children. And that's partly because um, those 12 and under aren't able to receive vaccination yet, but it's also because of new, um, stronger and more contagious variants that um, early data is suggesting affect children in a worse way. Everything we recommend in medicine is a risk versus benefit equation, right? There is no absolute, nothing is 100%, um, but the data we do have from these vaccinations for children are incredibly promising. Um, they are remarkably efficacious. I mean, we're seeing efficacy rates of 100% in some of the trial data, and they're incredibly safe. I would recommend children over 12 be vaccinated because, again, we're seeing this landscape changing. Um, I do think that um, well, for one, 24, 25% of our U.S. population is people 18 and, and younger. So we need children to become vaccinated to help us reach higher levels of herd immunity, just for the, the good of the whole. I do think that children, it will help keep them safe and protected. Um, there are rare complications of this virus that we see play out in children, um, multi-inflammatory syndrome in children, or MISC. We're seeing increasing cases of that. We're seeing um, something called long COVID in children, where even if, if adolescents or children had a initial or even asymptomatic case, um, they're having symptoms weeks to months after that. Things like fatigue and headache and brain fog. Um, and we're really just needing to have more data about that and what that's gonna look like for kids. But also, I think it just helps logistically them return to their lives. One of the big fallouts of this pandemic in our pediatric population was the mental health effects. Um, I think we were all reminded of all the services that schools provide for kids, whether that be nutrition, physical activity, um, access to internet, access to adults that are checking in with them. And when all of that went away, we really saw the fallout for children. So having kids vaccinated means they can safely return to in-person instruction in school. They can safely return to their, their extracurricular activities like sports and, and the like that really bring them happiness and joy in their life.